Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And we're going to do our Paper Pumpkin Live. I'm super excited. I've already opened it in a previous video. But you guys are six years. Can you believe it? I'm just going crazy with that. So, let me go ahead and see. I also have a couple other things. Now, if you hadn't heard, I'm doing a um, expo in Pomona in about a week and a half at the uh, Scrapbook Expo and the Wandering Planners. So I bought 90 paper pumpkins to take with me, and this is one of them. So when you get a brand new paper pumpkin, you also get this little guy with it. So I also have some of my other blocks so that we can just go through this pretty rapidly. We get the um, Poppy Parade, and I've already opened it. And then there's some mini dimensionals, some different adhesives, some tear tape, and some little dots. And these cards are so cute, you guys. We're going to be making pop-up cards. Hi, everybody. I can see you, Donna and April. Um, Ginger Girl and Rocket. Hi, Susan. We've got Shy and Jeffrey and Joyce. You guys are all here, so very cool. So we are going to make um, one of these cards exactly as shown. I think I'm going to make the one that's a little bit more difficult because I want to show you how to put the candles in here. So I think we're going to make the cake rather than the um, little guy here. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, and here we go. My, I have to turn this down because I'm watching myself live. <laughs> so kind of behind already. Let's see here. Oh, we've got Adele and Robin and Lorraine, Diane. And pretty blue eyes and Anthony. Oh, Susan, thank you so much. You're giving me some money there. That is so sweet. Hi, Faye. And Cheryl. So let's go ahead, you guys. I could sit here and say hello to you all day. But I wanted to show you this is the stamp set that came with it. If you haven't already seen it. So how cool is that? So and then this is the free stamp set which I am totally digging and it's got all the numbers and then it's got the ND, the TH, the ST and the RD along with the um, number sign and then a balloon as well. So I think that was pretty cool. Hi Michelle. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make one exactly as is and then we're going to make a different one. And this is all I did. I I grabbed a past paper pumpkin kit, you guys, which had um, this paper and envelope. And so I grabbed a piece of paper that matched with it and an ink pad that matched with it and then just a, a little bit of embellishment. And later we'll make a card using this. Who knows what we're going to design? Only you do. So, first things first, we're going to go with this card, and then after you decide what inside you want, then you can decide what outside. You don't have to do it exactly as is. So, I think I would probably like to do um, this inside to show you how to do the hardest part, and then this outside and then we'll make another card together. So for the inside, we're going to be using the pink, which has the cake there. We're going to be using, for the outside, we'll be using this card base. I'm going to be using one of these yellows and a, one of these candles. And it's got some cutouts in here as well. And we'll just use 
Oh, these pop out really easy. So we'll use this guy here and we'll make the card exactly as shown. So I'll put all this stuff away until we make another card in a little bit. And we'll use directions, I guess. Now, to be fair, Denise and I have already played around with this because we had so many and we're going to be making them at the expo and wanted to make sure we knew how to use it, which I'm really glad because this is a little bit of a difficult one. So I'm going to punch out these little candles here and they come out really nice and they already have the adhesive to it. So I'm going to grab one of those. All right, let's see. Hi, Marty. Hi, Lori. And this is a larger one, so I'm going to grab one of those. So we've got a small and a large. Oh, by the way, you guys, I'm going to be doing a last week, because it's the last week of celebration. So I ended up with doing a new code. So I want to do a special celebration hostess giveaway and so out of everybody who orders and uses this code I'm gonna enter you to be a hostess and so one of you will be able to be a hostess and get to choose anything you want so write down this code and if you order uh, make sure you use it so that I can put you into the drawing alrighty so we've got all of our pieces and what we're going to do, I don't want to lose any of these pieces. The first thing I want to do is put these candles on before I do anything. And I want the candles to be right in the middle there. And so, hi, uh, Tony, how are you? It was so nice talking to you yesterday. And Denise, same thing. I, I talked to you as well. I'm glad to see you guys are on here. All right. I love when you guys are crafting along with me. So I folded this right in half. That way I know exactly where I can put it. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to fold this one right in half on these edges. And I told you that I've been um, playing, so I misplaced my um, take your pick tool. So I'm going to grab another one because I bought a separate one to take with me. So I just happen to have a brand new take your pick tool <laughs> because I wanted to make sure I had one on my to go kit um, when I go and stamp with. Um, the girls on my team. So I've got this one and then this one has my favorite one. So if you haven't seen the way these work you just twist it and pull out and this is my favorite. So then you stick it back in there and then you twist it and now it won't come out. And then it comes with a refill and um, a, a large and a small stylus as well. And then that guy to keep you from stabbing yourself. And then it's got this. I didn't put it in there. And it's got this guy here. So I thought that was really cool. And then when you twist it, you're going to start pushing up the little gummy stuff that grabs your stuff. So I don't know if you could see that or not. See that little blue that came out? And then that just stays on there. All right, so now I'm gonna take this. This is why, because I cannot use my fingernails to get this off. All right, we've got the Tonys talking to each other in here. So I'm going to take this, and there is 
um, I don't know if you could see, there's already a score line on there. And I'm going to put this in through the back, you guys, and get those candles up there. And then I'm going to put those two score lines next to each other. Like that. And then stick it down. And that's how easy it is to get your candles on there. If you try and do it this way, it's a little bit more difficult. So that's how I found it to be easier. And then when we're putting this one on there, I know, that could be trouble. When you get this one on there, you want to make sure that your candles aren't sticking way out, because otherwise it's going to be sticking out of your card. Now you will have a base, so a little bit of leeway, so they can sit out just a little bit, but not a whole lot. So when you put this one in there, Again, I would go through the back just because it it was easier to get in there. And then you only want those candles. This is the hardest part, believe it or not. Like that. Leave those candles and then line up the edge and you're good to go. So see how those stick up just a little bit? That's okay because once we put the base on, it's not going to stick up at all out of the card. So we've got candles on there now. And then, now this again is tricky. We want the cakes to go out and these the back pink card to go in. So we kind of just play with it a little bit here. Getting that... Like that, and then these come out a little bit. So all the score lines are there for you already. Oh, bye. I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> bye. I love you. It's really, it really is a nice card, Faye. So we've got that. You guys, I have to tell you that I already told you, Denise and I have been playing with it. So I am going to tell you, I'm making it a little bit easier um, than I think what it probably was our first time. Because I had to have a little bit of a learning curve. So just take your time and, and play with it a little bit. The other thing... They did give you tear and tape, which is really nice. They give you a good amount of tear and tape on here. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> and so we're going to add this guy to here, right? But before we do that, we're going to set this aside. Oh, and what I was going to tell you about the tear and tape, you guys, if you have any, like, trouble at all like if you have shaky hands or if you have um, arthritis or something that doesn't allow you to line something up try this guy instead try the um, Tombow glue the permanent we're gonna try that because I have found I mean Denise did it she doesn't have shaky hands and she had a little bit of an issue and then I did it I had a little bit of an issue really um, but I, I was able to get it on there properly. But I think we're going to try the Tombow glue instead of the tear and tape. And I'm going to keep this tear and tape because I love tear and tape. But I'll keep that for something else. So while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead, grab my bone folder, and flatten this guy out. And then I'm going to take the front of my card because there is some stamping. <laughs> uh, hello crochet 1220 and Joanne so um, we're going to stamp these guys here so let's go ahead and get out that wonderful confetti 
and I'm actually going to save this guy because I already have some that we've been using. When you have 90 paper pumpkins, you know, it's, you got a lot to play with. So you're going to just take your confetti and we're going to take our poppy parade and we're going to ink that all up. And then we're going to go off the paper. That's why I have the sides there. And we're just going to kind of stick it on there. Get some confetti going. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Poppy, Maritza. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I don't have this poppy parade. I thought I did. I'm going to have to order it. I thought I had it, and uh, I did not. So I have to use the little ink spot that comes with it, which is seems to be doing well. So we're going to go ahead and put this off here. And there we go. So we've got that. I'm going to get out my little chamois cleaner here and just clean this off because I do not like getting those red colors everywhere. So we've got that taken care of. And then I'm also going to get out my baby wipe because I see that I got some on the corners here and I I don't I really don't want red everywhere. So there we go. And we're gonna take that off. And put that down. So then we're gonna have that card here. We're going to put that card there. You could use your adhesive dots, but I have my snail adhesive with me. I just prefer to use this for bigger projects like this. If it was something tiny, I would use the adhesive dots. So I'm just going to put this down. This is going to be such an easy card. Hi, Robin. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Regina and Phyllis. Thank you for joining us, everybody. We're going to put that down there. And it looks like there is another piece that I need. So I'm going to get my bag back, or my box, I should say. And I'm looking for some little blue guys. When you can't find what you need, just go like this and see what pops out. Now I just opened this, so I know they have to be in here somewhere. Unless I pulled them out and wasn't thinking. Let's see. Oh, what am I doing here? We're going to go through. That's the hardest part, is when you have multiple cards. So it's not there. I don't see anything there. It never fails, does it? I always am missing something. I'm always misplacing. Okay. Here are some numbers. Those are not it. Ah, there we go. And look at this, you guys. This is um, numbers, cut out numbers. So we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Hi, Rebecca. You did sneak in. Okay, so we've got that piece. And then we're going to put on here, uh, let's see. We'll put on It's Your Birthday. On this piece here. And I want it to line up with this perfectly. So I'm actually going to put it right on here. Well, I don't actually think it'll fit. I think we have to do it twice anyways. So I'm just going to grab that. We'll ink that all up. Nicely. Okay, there we go this toward the top and then that says it's your I'll grab this with this guy so I don't get red everywhere and then we'll put the birthday I love that you could see through so no matter how messed up <laughs> what I do when I lay it down I could always get it straight All right, and now we're going to put birthday. It's your birthday. Hi, Becky. I'm working on your um, pocket letter. I received your pocket letter. Hi, Carla. Thank you so much. Okay, so we've got that done. I'm going to cover this back up. And we're going to move on here. And we've got a number. Let me see here. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, you guys, I ended up meeting up with Kathleen today. We had so much... Um, fun just chit-chatting. At least I did. I hope you did too. Hi Cindy. Okay, so what I need is somebody to give me a number. It's going to be the first person. So give me a number so we can make a birthday here. Okay, Cindy got five first. So we're going to do Cindy's fifth birthday here. So I look at the back to tell where the numbers are popping out, but they've got these pop-out numbers. They've got this guy, and then it's the same exact numbers with this polka dot as well. Or if you don't want to use the pop-out numbers or you've gone through all your pop-out numbers, well, then you have these guys here to use and they're so cute with those polka dots so let's go ahead and we are going to pop this guy out so I'm gonna get my little mini dimensionals here I'll put one on this side this side we're still working only on one side of the card these cards they are a little bit longer to um, make so because it's like making two different cards and I'm gonna put a third dimensional on here and then we're gonna put this right here and then where'd that five go we've got the five here 
We're going to use that dimensional again. And they're mini, so we should be able to like put them in there. All right, so let me show you. These have little bits on the side, and so I'm just going to take some little scissors and kind of cut like that because even though these are mini, I want them to be even minier for these little side pieces. So we've got that. And now I'm going to take off the tops there. You want to be careful when you're taking off these tops because you don't want to peel the top layer of glue for some reason on these um, this particular set uh, you can peel the glue off pretty easy so I don't want that to to happen there so now we've got that and we're going to add a little hat to that number five and for that we will use these little glue dots here so see what I mean I would not be able to do any of this without this little tool so well I can't even do it with the tool here let me see oh there we go let me push that a little too hard <laughs> And now we've got that, and we're going to add a little hat there for number five. Hi, Carol Ann. Yeah, you could glue. You could glue those as well. So, okay, Cindy gave me the number five. So, Cindy, I want you to... Um, email me your address and I'm going to send you this card so that you can use it. All right, so we're, we're back here to this part and we've got that all taken care of, but we want to have an inside message. And it's going to say, today we celebrate you. So I'm just going to stick that guy right on there. Yeah, the colors are so fun. I mean, it's definitely birthday, like, celebration. So I love this. I love that they told us. Um, they don't tell us exactly what's going to be on here, but I knew that there would be eight cards because they tell you that. And I knew that the hint was called um, our birthday will be popping so I figured something would be popping out we didn't know what it was or anything like that because we they still want to keep the surprise but they usually tell us little hints and then I try and pass them on to you guys so let me see here oh trying to read the comments, so I apologize. So, um, I don't typically sell my cards, except every so often they'll be on Etsy. But um, for this whole kit, was only $19.95, so you get eight cards that you can make. And that's what we have here, so... Um, Carla, if I were to sell my cards, I usually sell them, unless I do a grab bag, I usually sell them anywhere between, like, right about the $5 mark. So that's where, where I'm at, because it is a handmade card. So at this point, you guys, you would use the tear tape, and you'd put it here, and here, and here. Same on this side, here, here, and here. But... People are having trouble, people being me, people being Denise, we're having trouble 
getting it all lined up in there. You see how that could be a little bit of an issue? That's where I was having trouble. So it seems like it would be really easy that if I had the tear tape there, I could just flip it over like that. And it seems like it, and I almost want to try it, but, but that's the key. I don't want to. <laughs> So once that's in there, you guys, you're going to get this popping card. How cool is that? So um, I don't want to use the tear tape. I'm going to use my multi glue because I want to be able to move it around a little. And it's not that much. So I'm just going to use that here and then here. And this glue just works really well for me. And I can put both sides on at the same time so oh I got myself of course I did so I'm gonna get a little there and then here and then we've got that <laughs> so making sure everything's straight the way I want it and I'm gonna cr grab this by the center and put it in here and then line that up. And then push these down. So this is the card that I'm going to be making. Um, and I am charging for, uh, people to make their make and takes. They're going to be $4 a piece at the expo. So... And then we'll have little goodies and stuff. So it'll be fun. Uh, yes, thank you, Shy. It's $19.99, $90.95 a month. And look at how cute that card is. And see, it's already sticking together with that Tombow glue. So I really, really like that glue. And there we go. That's our first card there. And now we're going to make... Another card, if you guys will help me, we'll make a card using some other stuff. So, oh yes, and then we have this guy. We've got a envelope that matches as well. So it's got the stripes and this. So you guys know how I do it. It won't be able to be done on this one because of the popping. So I'm going to have to stick it right in there. You can also decorate the outside of the envelope. But this one is going to Kathy when she sends me her address. Yeah, Tombow glue is my favorite as well. So I'm going to stick that there and let it wait for Kathy. So let's go ahead again. I don't know what we're going to do. But I've got these fun colors, and I think we can do something with it. So I got the granny apple green. Same with the cardstock. I have a black base. And this is from um, last year's, last year's or two years ago, paper pumpkin that I happened to have. And I was like, okay, we're going to use that. So I'm going to take that guy. Thank you. So much. I'll tell you it's worth every dime. Yep, I agree. I agree. Thank you. All right. So let me see what we're going to make here. I also want to have an inside with the white. So, time to start grabbing all my stuff here. Start measuring. The base on this card, this is four and a quarter, so it's basic five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut this one down to four four well let's see
we can do an inch. Let's do that. So it was four and a quarter. We'll do three and a quarter here. And that'll give it a nice wide black border for the inside as well. So we've got that and we'll do the same thing here just for fun. In case we want it, then I don't have to come back and cut again. Okay, here we go, you guys. For the paper pumpkin, yes, but you decide which month and how often. Um, yes, it is $19.95 for the kit. You can join for one month, and then you can continue if you like it. And if you're not satisfied, um, you can replace it for something other uh, with Stampin' Up, something, some other product. So we've got the inside. And now is where we go. Yep, you get everything in the kit, not this stuff. We're now working on an alternative. So, um, but all of the stamp sets, this one is an extra stamp set this month. But it always comes with um, the stamp sets that you'll be using and an ink. Your first one comes with a block and then all your envelopes, your bases, and stuff like that. So for me, it's a pretty good value. So I'm already liking just the inside alone. And okay, here we go. We're going to start this guy up. We're going to make an alternative card. And I think I'm going to get this granny apple green. And we have this one. So I'm going to make, what did we make this at a half? So I'm going to cut this one. Let's see. I'm going to cut this one. If it's a five and a half, I'll do it at five. No. Come on, I can do this. Four and a quarter and three and three quarters. There we go. And then we'll do this one at five. There we go. And then I have extra pieces to play with as well. That's correct. Um, thank you, Susan. So, um, yeah, once you buy it, from Egypt. That's so cool. Uh, once you um, purchase it, you can buy refills if you'd like. Do we like these colors? These are pretty colors, right? I think we can do something with it. And I think I'm going to go look. I think we might be able to do these balloons. Let me look. I'm going to grab my balloons here, my balloon punch. And we will see. All right, I think this balloon will fit in there. It will. Oh, I'm excited. You guys want to use the balloon? I think we've decided the colors are nice. Okay. We've decided that the colors will work. And we're going to grab another piece of that whisper white and make some balloons. Marie, if you are new to stamping, this is the way to go. This gets you everything you need. It gets your block. It gets your ink. It gets all of the little kit that you need. And you're guaranteed to be able to make everything from start to finish. So I am now looking around for the ink. Here we go. 
Hi, Carol. I'm so glad that I got to see you. I um, haven't been able to see everybody who's come on here. Okay, so we're going to open up the Granny Apple Green. And we're going to ink this up. And let me see here. There we go. I'm going to do that one there. And I think I have to cut this down. Let's see. Yep. I'm going to cut this. because I did the wrong side so I'm going to do it up again <laughs> Susan you are such a help thank you so much Susan is also a stamping beauty and she um She's a stamping beauty because she's on my team as a demonstrator. And her um, call sign there is Shy's Art. And you guys, she has the best watercolor um, or uh, paint. Um, well, I can't think of the name of it. I use it all the time. A palette. So you guys see me using palettes all the time. And I saw hers on her website and it was so cool. So if you ever have an issue with um, having something like this, you guys, you can take a piece of paper. Watch this. I'm going to take this. Actually, I'm going to take this because I'm never going to use this little teeny piece here. I'll try and give you tips along the way. Just take this little guy here a little teeny tiny bit of glue on there and then glue your little piece of paper there see how I did that and now I could stick this in here no problem And then you just toss that away. You could also use a, a post-it note, but I didn't have any near me. So that's why I came up with that little guy. All right, so I have two of these green little guys. And what other color would go well with the green? So I'm going to punch out another balloon or two. Let's see what I have near me. Here we go. I have this piece of paper here. And I have an extra piece right here. So, we'll take this guy. And we'll punch out that balloon. I think those colors go well together. In fact, you guys think I should add this color in there? Oh yeah, black would have looked good. But I, I, I don't know, would this color look good with it? Those are some pretty birthday colors. Yes, we are now on to an alternative card. So what that means is I'm basically using some of the supplies, like the stamp set. Um, and 
that comes with it. I that's all we're using at this point. So I think I might add a little. What do you think? I like it without the red. Okay, red's gone. There we go. Yes, add the red. I like it with the red. Oh, no. Let's see. We're going to keep on going. Because I'm kind of now... As I don't know. I need more of you guys. Let me know. <laughs> There's a good group of you watching, so... No red. Me too. We'll still use these guys though. Because these little guys are going to be cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, just a hint of the red. So. Okay, we've got no red. I think it looks like we have more no than yes. So. Do we want the red balloon? Or do we want to go with a black balloon? I think I would like color in the balloon. Okay, great. I think we're going to be good with this. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put these little guys down. This, this one and this one. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Tombow glue again to stick this down. And give it a nice border there. All right, here we go. Do we want the card to be uh, horizontal or vertical? And I'll move this so you guys could see um, the code there in case you wanted to place an order and become this week's hostess. Okay, everybody says horizontal. All right, we got that. And then we'll put this one here. And we can put the balloons kind of off like this. And then we can use the Today We Celebrate You. Is that cute? Stanley's not happy. All right. I'm going to have to check this out. Sorry. Stanley. You're okay, buddy. Come on. the kids playing so sorry about that he is a good boy do we like this today we celebrate you okay red balloon on the outside he is ba barking at those little guys <laughs> playing outside. Okay, so we've got that like that. Or we could do happy birthday. 
This is what we could do. You like that like that? Should I put some confetti on there? Or not really, right? I think we can use these little guys, these two colors, to kind of make its own confetti. I think we, okay, I think if we put this and then put happy birthday on the inside is what it looks like. Okay, here we go. All right, sorry about the barky dog. The kids are playing basketball outside and he is not happy. Okay, one question. We're definitely going to bling it up for sure. Do we want this in that poppy parade color? Or do we want it in the granny apple green color? Or we can do it in black. Red, black, or green. Poppy parade, poppy poppy okay actually this is not the right color it is the lipstick the lavender lipstick that we need to use if we want it to match up so let me look real quick see if I have it oh goodness Sorry, I should have been more prepared for this, but I wasn't. That's, that's why I like to do live, because we can figure it all out together. And let me see here. Let's see. We may not be able to do it. I'm going to try. it is. Of course it was the last one I looked at. Okay, we've got the lovely lipstick. So, let's put this. And we're going to put this right here. Oh, sorry, I did not get to see all the other responses. I know, I already had it out, but I kind of, I, I, not very OCD, but sometimes I do. I get a little crazy and I'm like, no, that's not the right color. And, you know, Tony's not here, but he would just say it's red, so go with the red. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Today We Celebrate You, and then we're going to go ahead and put this guy on here. And I, again, will use, well, I'm going to use the tear and tape so those of you who haven't used it before can see how to use it. In case you don't have the Tombow glue, you'll know. And you just take it, it's literally, you take it and you tear it. And you take it and you tear it. That's why it's called the tear and tape. And I used to not like it. Um, but I tried it. <laughs> so I didn't like it because I didn't try it. And we'll pop this guy out here. This is going to be a very simple, easy card. And because they're bigger, I'm just going to get out my regular, maybe not. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to get out my 
um, larger dots. And we will put, this is what we'll do. We'll put this one straight down just with some glue here or snail adhesive. And we'll have it popping off there. Then on this one, we'll use one glue dot. And then on this one, we'll pop it off even a little bit more. Now this would be good for a card that is given to somebody straight in their hand because once you start getting to these higher um, dimensionals, when you start stacking them, they get really high. So let's go right here. And so, oh, I was going to show you, there you go. So now you can see that they're all different heights. And I think that's pretty cool. My poor dog. All right, now I'm going to take the um, black Stampin' Right marker on the thin side. Make sure, oh, this one's not. This is the one that wasn't working. What did I do with the one? That is the one that wasn't working. Hold on, I've got the other one. Where is it? Well, I'm not going to make you wait, so I'm just going to use just a regular black marker here. Just going to use a regular black marker that I have here. And I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to give him a little bit of a tie there. And then out the bottom, we're just going to do this. Same here. We'll stick that under a little bit. And under. And then the same here. And we won't really. We're just going to go right straight underneath. And go there. Yeah, he is. He's protecting me against the uh, little kids in the neighborhood. So we've got that there. And then we're going to add some of these little guys to the front. And I think we'll put a dot right up here. And then we'll put another one down here. And if you guys know me, I like to put two together. And we'll put this here in their crosshairs. And I'll do the same thing here. Actually, I think what I'll do, we'll do the cross, so there we go. And we'll put a little guy right there. And then just a couple here and there. to make a little bit of confetti. What do you think? I think that is really cute. And I just happen to have the gel pen. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a thing like that there. So we've got that little guy 
And you can do one here as well. And the same here. Super cute! And then we have the inside. And we will make him little candles. And I say him, I don't know why, I just assumed this card was a man. And let's put some candles on here. We're just going to go right off of the edge there. These candles are super adorable. Well, thank you guys. And no, you cannot find these in a store. At least not with the love that's attached to making them. That's for sure. So, I think we're going to give him some a couple of the lovely lipstick colors as well. Oh, I'm loving this. How cute is that? looking really quick. I don't have my pens out. So I'm going to grab a little marker here. And give it a little bit of candle there. I have my Stampin' Right markers, you guys, but I realize that you are all here waiting, so I'm just going to do what I can with what I've got. I don't know. In my opinion, this is adorable, and you guys always help me make the best cards. And I think somebody wanted happy birthday, so I'm going to put happy birthday in here real quick. And then we'll be done. Oh, thank you. I don't think I'm all that talented. They make it very easy, I'll tell you. So I'm going to put these right down there. And then once I get that lined up, I can just stick that like that. And then I was going to go with this, but I think I'm going to go with the green. The Granny Apple Green. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure that there were no other colors on there. We've got happy birthday. So cute. All right.
And then I'm just going to take this guy and put it on there and it's ready to go. So that's the card we made. Today we celebrate you. Happy birthday. How cute. I love it. We could even put, if we wanted, a little hat on there. Some confetti. There's just so much we could do with this set. And I love these little balloons. And then, um, if you did buy a paper pumpkin and you want to get this, you can get this as well on my online store. And then, you guys, if you do it this week, use the hostess code. So... You guys, thank you all for joining me. And then next week, I will, at the 1st of April, I'll tr uh, choose a winner from this hostess code. And that person will get all of the um, hostess, coast, hostess code gifts. So um, as long as the total order is over $150, there will be... A giveaway to give if it's less than $150 well then I will go ahead and get a little hostess gift from me um, that will definitely be worth it for you so and don't forget it's the last week of celebration that's why we're having a special host to celebrate the last week and you guys if you want to become a demonstrator now is the last time Now's the last time. So not not to become a demonstrator, but to take advantage of the awesome celebration um, price. You guys, it's $99, and you get $175 worth of product that you choose. Plus, you can start your own business if you'd like. So, alrighty. You could always join afterwards if you'd like. It's still $99, but then you'd get $125 worth of product rather than the 175 that you'd be getting if you signed up this week before March 31st. So that is my little uh, spiel there because I'd love to have you on my team. Thank you guys so much. Becky, thank you so much. Um, Marie, I hope I answered your question as what the host code is for. And you guys, thank you so much. So sweet. Uh, Guida Soto, thank you so much. Shy, thank you. Crystal, Carol, you guys, nice. Robin, oh, thank you so much. And let's see, Katie, bye. We'll see you later, you guys. Thank you, Faye. It was wonderful. Let me go ahead and get out the two cards that we're making as I say goodbye. And you guys, we will see you next month. And all of you Paper Pumpkin subscribers, you all knew what time I was going to be on because I sent you an email. So, there we go. Bye, Cindy. Bye, Rebecca. Thank you. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Marie. Bye, Aguida. Aguida. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sure I am pronouncing it wrong. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye, Kathleen. Bye, Robin. Bye. <laughs>